Hey everyone, myself Shikha and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, I'm going to implement simple linear regression models in Python and my main basis would be to predict a regression model for a given data set and then to evaluate the predicted model on the basis of some error metrics. So before this, let me tell you one thing that if you're new to this linear regression concept, so please do check out my previous video link is in the description below where i have discussed some important aspects of regression models and the basic procedure behind evaluating our regression model so let's get started and let's have a quick recap on what linear regression is so linear regression is basically used to predict the variable values that is y values on the basis of the given input values x values but before we generate a regression model, we need to visualize our data or uh, we can say like pre-processing of our data is mandatory. So we'll be evaluating this R value that is the coefficient of correlation value, which basically computes the linear trend or the linear relationship between the X attributes and the Y attributes here. And R value ranges uh, between minus one to plus one. So we can see here when our value is near to minus one and plus one, it shows some linearity or in simple terms, we can say linear trend between the X and the Y attributes, which means that linear regression models are purely applicable on such data sets. But when we look at our values close to zero, the data points are totally scattered and we see no linear trend here. So at such data sets, uh, we prefer using nonlinear models. Uh, and here our values of uh, 0.7 and above are considered as good data sets where linear regression models are suitable uh, to be generated. But values between 0.5 and 0.6, these values are some, such values which needs further processing and linear regression models for values below 0.3 aren't reliable actually that doesn't make any sense so for such data sets non-linear models are basically used and for here the non uh, the reg linear regression model or the best fit line for a regression model is the one having the least errors least sum of squared errors here so what is this errors of variance in this let's have a look so the difference between the actual point of y for a given data point x and the predicted value from our regression model is nothing but the error in prediction so this difference between the actual and the predicted y values is called as the error so here the uh, errors for each and every data point of your data set is calculated and then the line having the least sum of squared errors would be finally considered as the best fit regression model for our data set. And once this regression model is generated here, we need to evaluate the efficiency of your model. That is evaluation of your model, uh, which also means like accuracy, calculating the accuracy, how accurate your model is. So this evaluation is done by using some basic metrics uh, from scikit-learn uh, library of Python. So let's have a look and let's get started finally with the implementation of simple linear regression models with this given data set here. It is not loaded. Yeah, got loaded. So this uh, this data set represents the scores of a student or the percentage of a student and the number of hours they study. So let's see what is our problem statement. So our problem statement says predict the percentage of a student where number of study hours is 9.25. So what we want to do is predict this per, uh, student's percentage on the basis of their study hours. So scores would be our independent variable here and hours will be our target or the dependent variables that needs to be predicted on the basis of this independent variables. So let's get started. So what we need to do first is importing the libraries. So here, um, we import pandas as pd so this pandas library is basically used to import the data set which is in csv format here as you can see it is a comma separated file here so we use this pandas library for the same numpy is used to perform calculations here array calculations and basic statistics matplotlib here is used to visualize your results that is a, a scatter plot of our data and regression line and further comes the sklearn that is the scikit library 
um in python so this is the um uh, this is like the most useful library for machine learning in python and it contains a lot of efficient tools for machine learning and statistical modeling including like classification regression clustering and many more so let's let's get started with loading our data set first here so this is the link for the data set which i have provided in the uh, description box uh, so this is the github link for the data set and the code for the data set is also provided so if you wish you can just pause the video and start your jupyter notebook and code along with me so yeah so here i'm reading this data set and i have used the try except block to like avoid errors so if this file can't be read so it will print this statement then comes the data visualization part now here is where the uh, data pre-processing for our data set starts so we'll be first visualizing the first 10 entries of our data set here so this is the data set this is the first 10 entries of the data set using dot head method then uh, we'll use this describe function here so this describe function does nothing but uh, give some statistical measures like count mean standard deviation min value that is the least value of your data set and 25 percent uh, represents first quartile 50 percent means second quartile that is your median of all the y, y and x values and 75 percent means third quartile and max is the maximum of all the values of your column and this count here is nothing but the number of data entries of your data set. So further, we'll plot the data to get a better idea. Uh, so we'll be using a scatter plot here. It is also uh, from this scatter plot, it is crystal clear that there is a collinearity between the scores and R's. That is, as R's increases here, the scores part also increases positively. So coefficient of regression is positive here which means finally we can use linear regression model here for prediction so for this we first need to prepare our data frame by splitting it into two parts that is testing and training data sets so here we are separating this independent variable and dependent variable uh, so and here we are converting these uh, each of these data frames into a numpy array so here we created an x array and then we included all the values of r columns into x and all the values of scores columns into y similarly then we are first uh, appending like all the entries here so now we'll be splitting our data into training and testing data sets using this train test split method here so sklearn train test split method will basically make random partitions for these two subsets here that is x train and uh, x train y train and x test y test here and we'll also specify the test size attribute here so this means basically that 30 percent of the data is partitioned into testing data and remaining 70 percent of the data is a training data set so now once we have our training data set here since we have our training data set split into x train and y train we are uh, we we can like train our uh, linear regression model so using this method regressor equals linear regression we can fit a model into the uh, linear regression model so here we are fitting the data sets of x train and y train that is the training data set into the linear regression model here so this will fit the uh, fit by finding the values of slope and y intercept uh, for the best fit line in such a way that it minimizes the errors or the variance between the actual and the predicted values and the least sum of squares um, of errors would be selected as the best fit line for your data set so now every line in mathematics is represented by this equation mx plus c so this dot coefficient method will retrieve the m value and this intercept attribute will uh, retrieve this c that is y intercept for your best fit line by calculating the least sum of squared errors for the same 
so now once our regression model has been plotted on this feature space we can now make predictions using this model on our training uh, on our testing data set so we'll first uh, print the x test values that is the uh, that was splitted earlier that is 30% of our data set so this is these are the x test values here and then using regressor dot predict we will be predicting the uh, y values on the basis of these x test values uh, from using our regression model here so this regression model will help us to predict the y values on the basis of these x test values so here we basically uh, use this data frame method of pandas which is a two dimensional data structure here which can have like columns with um, more than one columns with different data types here so here we can clearly see the comparison between the actual and the predicted values what we did here is we um, plotted the uh, we uh, printed the predicted values for this x test values as well as the actual values from our testing data set and then comparing both these values we can see the difference and this difference is nothing but the residual error for your regression model or stochastic error so here once we are done with the testing data set of our regression model we are good to go with the provided prediction test case which is to predict the percentage of a student based on the number of study hours here so using this regressor dot predict method we can basically predict the score of a, a student based on this number of hours which is your independent variable and the score your target or prediction variable so finally the scores gets predicted according to our regression model for this particular uh, number of study hours that is 9.25 so finally we are done with our main basis which is to predict uh, this student scores based on the number of hours now we are good to go with the evaluation of the model so evaluation of the model basically refers to the efficiency or the accuracy of your regression model of how accurate your regression model is so this can be achieved using some basic metrics uh, so this sklearn library of python provides a basic module metrics so this module of sklearn implements several loss function to measure the performance of your regression model so first such metric is mean absolute error so this mean absolute error is a loss function used for your regression models and mae is the absolute sum of the uh, differences between your actual values that is the y test values and the y predicted values here and this value evaluates to be 4.41 which is good for your linear regression model the second metric here is the mean squared error metric so this tells you how close a regression line is to a set of points since if we directly sum up all the error values the error values can get nullified and like uh, you can get the accurate error detection for your linear regression model so we square all these errors here and then sum up all the errors and then calculate the mean of all these values so this mean squared error evaluates to be 22.96 here and the third and the most important metric is the root mean squared metric here which is the standard deviation of the residuals that is the predictions errors uh, error between the y test and the y pred values so this rmse is a measure of how spread out uh, these errors on the regression model are so this evaluates to be 4.792 which means that your linear regression model is having least um root mean squared error so this root mean squared error is a better better measure of goodness of fit than the other metrics that um, provides you more accurate errors than the other metrics shown above so yep these were some metrics which we can use to evaluate the efficiency of your regression model also in case of multiple linear regression uh, we use metrics as adjusted uh, coefficient of determination so yeah this was all about simple linear regression models in python 
and thanks a lot for watching this video if you have any queries regarding this feel free to put in the comment section and also do share your reviews or suggestions if any that would be highly appreciated and do like share subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to stay tuned for upcoming videos and yeah keep supporting thanks a lot